Ninja Warriors, in this video, we are going to solve a J Advanced 2024 PYQ with the help of amazing short technique. And if you want more such video, don't forget to write Ninja Technique in the comment section. Okay. So here is the question J Advanced 2024 PYQ. Clearly, as we look at the question, trigonometry is involved over here, and after that, basic maths is also involved. Okay. Now all the 2024 J aspirants when I was teaching called me up and told me ma'am one question was from trigonometry we could solve that question till the end but the last thing was something which we were getting stuck or we were not getting the right answer so th that's when I told them that oh this can be done with amazing ninja technique which I always teach okay so what is that technique let's clearly this is square root of 7 plus 4 root 3 right now how to find square root of such number finding square root of irrational numbers obviously the bigger the uh, long method the traditional approach is square root of 7 plus 4 root 3 is what let us say a plus b now squaring both the sides will give you 7 plus 4 root 3 is equals to a plus b whole square which is this now what you need to do is you need to compare a square plus b square will be 7 and 2ab will be equals to 4 root 3 okay and eventually you need to get the value of a and b okay we are also going to do the same thing but with short trick some short technique okay so 7 plus 4 root 3 in such questions you will find there is a rational number and there is an irrational number my focus is on 4 root 3 which is an irrational number and you know what you have to make half of it 4 root 3 by 2 tell me 4 root 3 by 2 is 2 root 3 ma'am now this 2 root 3 you have to break it into two parts okay so breaking 2 root 3 into two parts will be what ma'am 2 multiply root 3 basically you need to split remember splitting the middle term same thing 2 multiply root 3 you need to hit and trial okay so first option is 2 and root 3 now what you have to do you have to square and add 2 and root 3 square and add so ma'am 4 plus 3 which is equals to 7 and you know what this 7 is matching with this 7 that means you are splitting it right no more splitting is required no more hit and trial is required you have got the perfect match 2 and root 3 are the two perfect numbers. So, this is 2 plus root 3. Uh, that's it. Okay. This is 2 plus root 3. Okay. And just in case you want to verify, you will realize 7 plus 4 root 3 will be nothing but 2 plus root 3 whole square. Check it out. Check it out. You will realize what exactly you have done. So, ma'am, 2 square plus root 3 square. 2 square is 4. Root 3 square is 3. So, 4 plus 3, 7 matching plus twice of a into b so twice of 2 and root 3 so it will give you 4 root 3 so it will it will match with this okay so i think the technique is clear but i want all of you to do this one more question based on this okay so let's do it so that your technique becomes stronger and then we'll jump on to the j advanced pyq quickly now this is square root of 12 plus 2 root 11 right Okay, ma'am. So now again, I told you that break this. First of all, take half of it. 2 root 11, half will be just root 11, ma'am. Now, ma'am, root 11, I need to break into two parts. How to break root 11 into two parts? So there is only one way. That is going to be 1 multiply root 11. Now, just square these two things and add. So, ma'am, this is 1 square and root 11 square, which is nothing but 12. And you know what match happened that means 1 and root 11 so this is root 11 plus 1 is your final answer again you can verify your answer as well so now that you have learned this ninja technique okay now we can peacefully solve J advanced question okay so now I'll show you that how basics are so important in J advanced okay first of all can you see that X is given which is in second quadrant cortex is also given to you okay x is in second quadrant cortex is given and now this is the expression whose value we are looking for okay if you observe this carefully uh, i can see that uh, some formula is getting formed 
can you see this is cos 11x cos 6x if you multiply these two what will you get cos 6x so this is cos a cos b so this is cos a cos b and you know what i need a sin a sin b because i know the formula cos a cos b plus sin a sin b is cos a minus b right so cos a cos b sorry cos a cos b and this is sin a sin b right sin a sin b so cos a cos b plus sin a sin b will become cos a minus b cos a minus b okay so cos a minus b so a minus b is 6x minus 11x by 2 plus now what are the remaining terms ma'am remaining terms if you look again this is your a and this is your b so this is sin a cos b see this is sin a cos b and this one is minus cos a sin b see sin a cos b minus cos a sin b sin a cos b minus cos a sin b again sin a minus b okay sin a minus b what is a 6x and minus b if you solve it what will it become tell me so ma'am this is cos x by 2 6 to the 12 minus 11 x by 2 plus sin x by 2 okay i don't know how many of you know it but hmm cos theta plus sin theta this is the formula sin theta plus cos theta is nothing but square root 1 plus sin 2 theta how many of you know it already this is the formula which we are going to use over here so this is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 is nothing but square root of 1 plus sin x okay double angle so x by 2 double is 1 plus sin x now now and you know what i know some people will be like ma'am what is this formula let me tell you sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 can i write square root of sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 whole square now open this square ma'am if you open sin square plus cos square is 1 okay and 2ab is 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 this is the direct formula multiple and sub multiple angle 2 sin a cos a is sin 2a so this is 1 plus sin x okay so that's what i have written over here direct thing sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 is what 1 plus sin x whole square root okay now what do you want ma'am you want just sin x and your question will be done and dusted cot x is minus 5 by root 11 and x is lying in second quadrant in second quadrant my sin will be positive second quadrant astc sin will be positive okay ma'am so now uh what i'm going to do is i am going to up, uh, draw a triangle okay cos theta is what base upon hypotenuse 5 by root 11 sorry base upon perpendicular so 5 is this root 11 is this apply pythagoras theorem hypotenuse will be root 36 that is going to be just 6 yes or no 11 plus 25 Root thirty six, which is six, clear. So now from here, sine x. Tell me, ma'am, value of sine x is root eleven by six. So this is square root of one plus root eleven by six. Now can you see ninja technique will be so useful over here? And trust me, this thing and option wise, if you want to go option wise, so many students were not able to calculate the value of this. Okay, all right. So now. Just take LCM six plus root eleven by six, okay? Six plus root eleven by six, okay? So here I'll use the space. Now multiply two and two both sides, numerator and denominator. So this is twelve plus two root eleven upon twelve. This is also square root. This is also square root. Now tell me this. So you just have done it. Can you see this is what? square root of this 1 plus root 11 and root 12 is going to be 2 root 3 can you see that the correct answer is option c no 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 a a a can you see very minute detail ha huh? 2 root 3 so option b is absolutely right okay now for more such videos write ninja technique in the comment section if you are a serious j advanced aspirant then this batch is for you our eclavio 2026 batch okay 
So over here, we are running amazing offers on this batch. To know more, what you can do is you can watch out the link which is given in the description box. For more details, I have attached one video also for complete details.